who was Pop and why do you refer to him as Pop? Pop, his name is actually Tino Tumanao Tuilosega. He's a Polynesian uh, man that uh, came from the Polynesian Islands that uh, was the son of the King of Samoa who created Lima Lama and he happened to move to Santa Cruz. When he moved to Santa Cruz, I got to know him and because I was his personal student, he allowed me to call him Pop and he actually became like a second father to me, a spiritual father. What is Lima Lama? Uh, Lima Lama is an American Polynesian martial arts. <clears throat> He was created by Tino Tumamao Tulosega. And uh, he combined Polynesian martial arts from the Polynesian Islands with uh, you know, other types of martial arts and moves from you know, Japanese martial arts, Chinese martial arts, boxing. And uh, so he became an expert of different martial arts and combined the best aspects of different, of different arts. What was it like to learn from the creator and founder of Lima Lama Martial Arts? The best way I can explain that is by using an analogy. So let's say you are camping and it's night and there's a, a fire in the middle of a camp. And uh, in order to keep warm, you want to be closer to the fire, right? The further you are away, the less warmth you feel. And so imagine instead of warmth, it's knowledge, information. So to learn directly from him was very special because one, he created it. He had concepts, ideas, and the philosophy behind the art. And to hear it directly from him is very different than hear, hearing it several generations down the line from other students. So to be right by the, the fire, if you will, it's a lot better feeling the heat than if you do it a few feet away. A few feet away. For the years that you studied Lima Lama with Pop, what are the most important lessons you learned from him about Lima Lama and martial arts? What are the most important lessons that you learned from him that have influenced your life? I learned two very important lessons, and uh, one of those is very specific advice. So one lesson was I got to learn about the Polynesian culture. He took me in as his son. He treated me like his son. Every time I would go to his house, uh, he would hug me, you know, and we would kiss on the cheek. Um, he worried about what I was doing. He asked me what I did. So he taught me to connect with people, to get to know people, to trust people, to respect people. And so and to be welcoming, you know, to be joyful in, in getting to know people. So that was one. The second one was where he, he and I were sitting at a table and he was eating dinner and he asked me about my parents and what they did. And, and then he asked, why, did you, why are you going to the university? What's the purpose? And I said, well, I want to learn a career, I want to get a job, I want to buy a house. And then he said to me, that's all great and good. But you know what's important, most important one of learning? And I was perplexed. I didn't know what to say. So I said, no. And he said, wisdom. And so throughout my life, you know, even though I've gone to university, even though I've worked, have a career, I have always tried to search for wisdom so that it would make, you, make me a better person to help others. You recently started teaching your sons the Lima Lama martial arts. What do you hope your sons learn from you? So, I always hope that they will learn Lima Lama because it had a big change in my life. And so, Lima Lama as a martial arts or art of self-defense, it teaches you not only how to defend yourself against attacks, but most importantly, it teaches you how to defend against yourself. That's why it's called arts of self, defense, defending against yourself. Because the biggest enemy you have is yourself. Your, your, yourself can tell you if you're running a mile to give up halfway or to walk only part of the way. So in everything that you do in life, you know, you're constantly 
fighting yourself. So the better way you know, the better you know yourself, and the better way you can say, you know what? Yes, I could quit, but I'm going to keep going. And so I hope that Lima Lama teach them not only how to defend themselves, but also how to be better people. Because if you know yourself, you know your abilities, you know what you can do, then you know you have confidence, and you know you don't. You don't need to respond angrily. You don't need to fight with anybody. In fact, you become a person that is respectful, is kind, is thoughtful, and tries to understand people. Because there's really no need to worry about, you know, somebody hurting you or you hurting somebody. Lastly, if Pop was alive today, is there anything you'd hope he'd say to you or that you'd want to tell him? <sighs> yes. And I just got emotional thinking about it. I think what I would do, I would give him a big hug and I would tell him, I'd tell him I love him. And I miss him. And uh, I hope he would be proud of me.